Do you think you've mastered pediatrics? Let's put your knowledge to the test. A nine-year-old boy is brought to your clinic for evaluation of a chronic productive cough. His mother reports that he has had constant colds since infancy, including multiple episodes of otitis media and several sinus infections per year. She also mentions he had pneumonia twice in the last 18 months. On physical exam, you note digital clubbing and nasal congestion with visible polyps. Auscultation reveals decreased breath, sounds bilaterally, and heart sounds are best heard on the right side of the chest. So in ciliary dyskinesia, there are several tests that you should expect to be abnormal. A chest X-ray should show recurrent pneumonia, or in some cases, situs inversus. Pulmonary function tests should be abnormal. These patients should have difficulty with clearing of mucus and residual lung dysfunction. And frequently for the diagnosis, we actually have to go in and get a biopsy of the lungs and do an electron microscopy where you can actually see the cilia and the defect. And that's really the way we have to make this diagnosis definitively.